We're back at the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. Our scoreboard today is sponsored by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. And they are hiring. You, you can visit jobs.criver.com to apply. Well, we set this in the lineup for you a moment ago. Our officials today, our R1 is Jim Hammer, and our R2 is Mike Chandler. And our line judges on the floor are Lawrence Walden and Shane White. Lake Catholic, they come in at 25 and 2. Their coach, Kara Oster, was coach of the year in the state of Ohio in Division Three. And Liz McNeilan in her first year at Versailles. And they will get opening service with Bryn Briscoe, the setter to serve. Here we go, Mark. Yes, sir. Division three semifinals. A kill attempt. And that ball was hit by Soko. And this one will be hit by Baumholt. And you know, a great opening rally. And that ball just didn't quite get over the net that time for Kirsten Baumholt. Lake scores the first point. That was a good thought on her part, Mark, to see the, the people big back in their base positions. Tried to shoot it into the core front corner and uh, didn't get it quite over the net. Here's Katie Soko, second team All Ohio player. And she's going to score an ace right out the shoot. Wow. Yeah, a lot of overspin on that, John. Yes, it is. She's, that's her 29th ace uh, on my count. Soko to serve again, six foot junior. Here's a set. Baumholt hits, and Christian Baumholt scores. That's the way you get to be player of the year when you get a set that's kind of off the net and you can still do something with it. Bryn Briscoe, the setter who wears number 18. This is her sister, however, the libero, Brooke Briscoe, to serve, 5'4", junior. And left-handed hit by number 11, Brigant. And that point goes to Versailles. We're tied at two. Mark, we've got two pretty good setters. I know Hannah Patty, they spread the ball around and they can set the ball anywhere at any time. 54 aces on the season for Brooke Briscoe, but not that time as her serve is short. It's 3-2 for the Cougars. Orange and black today for Versailles. Black with a little bit of gold trim for the Cougars of Lake Catholic. Here's their libero to serve, Emma Briganti. And just pushed over the net by Haley Porter. And then back again. Here's the set. And then kill attempt out in the middle by Cassie Baumholt. But they get to it. Good play by Lake Catholic. And Kirsten Baumholt. How about that? Lake Catholic's made two good plays in a row to keep the ball alive. And then out of the middle. Did they save another one? They did. Goodness, find wood against these people, John. And then Baumholt missed the sideline by Kirsten Baumholt's effort. It's 4-2 late. I tell you what, nobody's given up on anything here. Oh this my. is a state tournament, Mark. Defensively, that was quite a stand that time. And now their libero, but Briganti will serve again. 52 aces to lead the team this year. And the overpass goes over the net, and Versailles gets a point. <laughs> Versailles set her jump like she was going to jump set the ball, and I think it confused uh, some of the late Catholic girls. That it did for a fact. Number 35, Tori Tayo will enter. She plays in the front row. And this will be serviced by Kirsten Baumholt. And a little bit long. John, you know, we talk in basketball about the big open arena, and this is probably the first time they played an area with that much space at the end. Maybe that affects some servers sometimes? I think sometimes the height and the depth sometimes will get on them a little bit. Here's the left hand is served by Slogar. And then the kill out of the middle by Cassie Baumholt. From the back row, that was Soko. And then that kill attempt will go long by Haley Porter. It's 6-3, late Catholic. Mark, I like it. Both these teams so far, uh, no matter whether the pass is out of system, they still seem to get a swing on the ball. Go, the left-handed Mia Sloger serves. This will be set for Tayo. And a kill attempt out of the middle. That was Avery Budasrini. 
Block attempt by Versailles falls on the floor and early on Versailles and Coach Liz McNeilan takes a timeout. Our timeout also, you're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center. The late Catholic Cougars have taken a 7-3 lead in our opening set. First time out goes to Versailles. Let's see what changes Coach McNeilan makes. Let's go, Tigers! Five out of the last six points have gone the way of the Cougars. Set, Porter hits. And they finally get a point out of something. Uh, Blake Catholic was able to dig everything out, but not that time. Here comes Lexi Magato in. She wears number 12, and Lexi will serve. 27 aces on the year so far for Lexi. Let's see what she can do here. Set. And on the slide, Avery Budasrini missed the back line. Timeout succeeds for sales with two consecutive points. And ace for her. Wow, like you say, a little bit of nerves on everybody's part here this morning. Or this I would, afternoon, I guess it is. Yeah, right I now. would agree with that. We saw some earlier today, and we'll see if it doesn't play out as they get a little more comfortable on the floor. Versailles trying to tie this one up. That's blocked. And the point will go to Bryn Briscoe. Tied at seven. It's amazing, Mark. Once they block that ball back, you don't seem to have the same positioning you do as you would in a normal base defense. Four consecutive Tiger points. And that ball was hit by Derricky. Here's Tayo, tips it. Derricky again, and she will get a point through the block. 8-7 Lake. Well, you talked about it uh, previously this year, Mark, how many steps the setter takes getting to yeah. the ball. But I'm sure Hannah Patty's done, and her footwork is so far magnificent. Here's Julia Oster to serve and then play in the back row. Set, Tayo to hit again. No, she just tips it across and gets the point. Hit them where they're not. Yeah. That's why she looked like she was going to hit cross court. She just dinked it a little bit towards the right front corner. Here's Taylor Wagner, number 25, enters for Versailles to play in the front row. She's got a 118 kills on the season. Good serve that time by Bob Holt. And missing in the end line was Katie so Soko. Versailles, first lead since they were up 2-1. I can see why Katie has uh, got 325 kills. She doesn't get cheated out of any swings. Another serve by Bob Holt. And she gets an ace. Top that one up to Cassie. You know, you see that jump float all the time now for serves. I like to see that big top over spin. It's time out now. We'll go to the Lake Catholic Cougars. Uh, describe this, the serve that we just saw, John, and how that, why that's so effective. I see when they throw it up, there's a lot of forward spin on the ball. And then when they hit it, it continues if you keep that if you make contact with the ball correctly, that overspin that makes the ball dive. A lot of times it's hard for the uh, defensive player to get their feet in position to make a good pass. So uh, that's what makes that so successful. TV 44 and WS Center nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day, and you can visit WTLW.com. Well, each team has called a timeout. We played just 18 points on our Charles River scoreboard. Cassie Baumholt, the junior, will serve. 5-6, 40 kills for her on the season to go with her 21 aces. And that time the serve ends up a little short, so service run is broken and trailing by one. Ava Budasrini will serve. That's what we talk about, that risk reward there, Mark. She had two aces on that and then hits the ball into the net, so you're still 50% there. Good. And her serve goes into the net. Right back to 
the Tigers goes to serve. And in entering will be Tessa Stammen, and Tessa will serve. She wears number 16, Tessa's a senior. For sales goes nine and 10 deep on the bench, so they'll keep running players in. Set, so Ahsoka pushed that one to the back row where it's played. It's Kirsten Baumholt. And Kirsten kept that one alive. No, uh, Brickstow kept it alive, and then Baumholt hits it. There's Soko. Oh. Yes, sir. A little heat on that. Put it down in the left back corner. Uh, just a, a quick observation, John. She is a very quick jumper. She gets off the floor very quickly. Here's Hannah Patty. First team all Ohio as a setter this year with 947 assists in a season. <laughs> Well, at least that's what the sat page says. And her serve lands on the back line. We're tied at 11. They have played 82 sets on the season. And she has uh, recorded 947 assists. Junior All-Ohio player. Don't ask me to do the math yeah, on that I'm, one. I'm have to get my calculator. Another ace. 12-11. have to find my phone to figure out what that means per set. <laughs> They have lost only 10 sets all year, have the late Catholic Cougars. That's outstanding. That's yeah. unbelievable, really, to me. Nice. Scramble set. to make a play. They get to it and can't quite keep it alive, though. This has been a four consecutive point run here for Lake, and they've taken a two point lead. That's a shame. Bryn Briscoe made a nice long run on that and still got her hands on the ball, and made something out of it. Patty to serve again. 32 aces for her this season. And she has served well this rotation. Kirsten Baumholt off a blocker for a point. 13-12. They list Kirsten at 5'10", Mark, but you know, just at where we're sitting, and they look smaller than they do out there now. Here's Bryn Briscoe to serve. Set Patty, and they're going to trace it down. Couldn't quite get to it that time on the kill by Soko. That was a nice play that Lake ran on that here. They run kind of a, a swing type play where they brought one player in and then served it beyond her a little bit for the kill. She almost had that kill from behind another player, almost like a, a, a decoy of, of a type. Exactly what it was. Yeah. Don't know where the block should be. Set, back set. Kill attempt was by Wagner. Nice cut shot there. Here's Kirsten Baumholt, and through a blocker she goes again. 14-13 with the libero Brooke Briscoe to serve. The junior of the two Briscoe sisters. And ace, talk it up, we're tied at 14. That was a nice serve there. A lot of pace on the ball, low over the net. Still high school players aren't used to that three ball rotation yeah. coming in there, so they're looking for the ball to come back. Nice serve, Brooke. Back set, left-handed hit, blocked the net that time by Cassie Baumholt. And another one. Soko missed the back line. Versailles by, leads by a point. So discouraging for a team there when the ball keeps coming back at you. You get good swings, good sets, and it just keeps coming back on your side of the floor. There's Brooke Briscoe. Nice. And what do we got? Somebody in the net? We do. Number two, Cassie Baumholt was in the net. And we're tied at 15. Emma Briganti to serve. Set. And trying to go through the block, but right there was Natalia Brigant. And also, um, which teammate was with her? Well, anyway, we'll give it to Brigant then. 16-15. Lake Catholic. Beautiful short serve. Baumholt hit that one. Here's the set by Patty. 
Here's the libero will set this time. Kirsten Baumholt goes cross court. And then that kill will be chalked up by Claire Derricky. 17-15, Lake. Sure is nice having a big, tall left-hander being your opposite hitter. So being on that side, that left hand comes in handy. Skims the top of the net. Does that serve? Kirsten Baumholt. 17-16 on the set from Bryn Briscoe. Here's Kirsten to serve, 35 aces, 435 kills, and 291 digs this year. Player of the year in the Midwest Athletic Conference. That's a nice play by the left-handed Natalia Brigant. Eighteen sixteen Lake. Is that Mia Sloger coming it is. to serve? Yeah, I had a bunch of bodies in my way until she yeah. served left-handed. I wasn't sure. Tycho rolls it over. The nice. Ricky hit that one. Blocked by Derricky, and that's going to be a point. Oh, yeah. 19-16. Ball ends up by Lexi Waddle, who was too busy with her camera, and we're going to get a timeout. Versailles takes this one. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Out of town or can't get WSN? WSN is now streaming 24-7 on Roku and Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. $100 an edition will allow you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. Here's service by Lake Catholic. Back set goes to Porter. Good placement. Derricky hit that one. Porter again, and through the blocker. Tayo's gonna tip it over, and it falls on the side of Versailles. 2016. Tayo tried to tip it over there, and uh, I think both the uh, late Catholic players knew it was coming. Seven out of, six out of the last seven points have gone the way of late Catholic until that serve. Makes it 2017. Here comes Lexi Magato in to serve. Lexi did a good job serving last time. Let's see what she can put together now. Yeah, she did. Back set. And hits long, does Ava Budrashrini. Watch this. Oh, whenever they throw the ball, Lexi Magato, she tells them thank you. How about that in the middle of competition? You know? Love to see young kids with manners. Absolutely. Short set. Nice. Good play, yeah. Briscoe kept it alive. And then tipped. And a little joust in the net. And what happened? We got a late Catholic Cougar in the net. I was going to say, somebody had to be in the net there. Lucky it's still standing. <laughs> it's still hopping up and down right now. <laughs> Here's Lexi Magato, the senior, to serve again. Trying to tie this one up in the opening set. Derricky's shot's blocked. And then trying to go through Ava, Ava Budashrini, and she hits it into the net, and we are tied at 20. And now we get a late Catholic timeout. Well, we're done. We're tied at 20. It's now a five-point set. There we go. Best of five. Check out our web website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anywhere else in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, and social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. With, uh, what, two playoff football games on Friday night and five playoff football games on Saturday. Those games will air a couple of them Saturday night and then three of them on Sunday evening. Soccer we've had this week. Now volleyball, of course, and now we're to... High school playoff football in week three. We're tied at 20. 
Magato, see if she can break that tie and keep her, put her team in the lead. They've scored the last four points out of Versailles. Set by Patty, and what do we got? Illegal contact. There's Versailles up a point, 21-20. She just said thank you to her teammate, the libero, Brooke Briscoe, for throwing her the ball. <laughs> you got to love it. Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I do. Here's almost today. It's good serve. Ball's tipped over. Here's the set. Baumholt hits it out of the middle. This will be Tayo, and she hits it to the back row. Set. Kirsten Baumholt, but it's blocked at the net by, by Budasrini. That was a nice play. There was nothing else she could have done with that ball. So uh, Bryn Briscoe decided just to throw it to the back row there and uh, just to block her up in front of her. Julia Oster checks in. Go, Tiger! And serves. Go. Set. Soko missed the sideline. Versailles up a point. You know, Mark, you can tell these big hitters because they try all the shots all the time. I mean, it's not the same repetition. All Cassie Baumholt serves. Good serve. Top spin. Soko hits it and gets it at point for her team. Tied at 22. She went down the line last time a little wide. This time she comes right shorter in the middle. So a good way to mix up your shots. Ava Budashrini to serve. Sophomore. And Ball boy, they keep it out. alive. Nice. Yeah. Oh. 23 22. Might have been out, but you better play it rather than die on the back line. There you go. We just read to serve again. Let's go, Tiger! Nice, Lexi, nice. Kirsten Baumholt from behind the 10 foot line. Soko shots blocked. That'd be a point. Taylor Wagner, the sophomore, got it back. Sure is nice to have some big bodies in the front row right there to jump up and block that ball. 23-22. Taylor listed as a six-foot sophomore. You can teach them a lot, but you can't be teach them to be tall. Tessa Stammen will serve. We're tied at 23 in the opening set. Soko shots blocked, but played again. Here's the set. Kirsten Baumholt, and they, <laughs> well, it's a nice play. It's not legal. Yeah. You know, that was fun to watch, but even at the college level, sometimes you saw people that wouldn't pursue the ball. Yeah. That young lady did, so uh, even though it is illegal now. Here's Bryn Briscoe trying to serve out, uh, excuse me, Tessa Stallman trying to serve out the opening set. For sales with a chance. Taylor tips, but she tips it right to the libero. Soko hit that one. Baumholt tips. Oh, good play. Hey, somebody in the net. Somebody was in the net. For sales will take the opening set. 25-23, set two coming up after this. You're watching high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is provided by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. For Mark, sales, opening set, 25-23. How about stat numbers, John? Uh, well, we look like we had some good stats here. I look at the number of kills here. Uh, for sales, had nine kills to seven kills for the late Catholic team. So, uh, you know, they on Lake Catholic only hit in the negative on that negative 081. They're normally hitting 321 from the floor. So that tells a lot. They're not used to the same numbers they year are for the rest of the year. So let's see if uh, Versailles, that means they're playing good defense. Let's see if we can keep up that good defense 
to go through the second set. What you're talking about with uh, Lake Catholic is the, the fact that their, their kills are below their errors, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right, Lake Catholic had seven kills and ten errors in the opening set, what John's numbers were describing. Here's second set service. This will be kind of padding to start it out. Kirsten Baumholt tips to an open area, and, boy, they keep it alive. This will be played over by Oster. And then a kill attempt will go to Taylor Wagner. First point goes to Versailles in this set. A lot of times, even from the middle there, it looked like she was aiming for those high hands, trying to just get it and get it off a block. Here's Bryn Briscoe. Nice Barrow checks, track, tracks it way down in the back, free balled over. This will be Kirsten Baumholt. She hits it through a blocker and gets a point. Wow. That was a nice pass up to the front row. Very low, very right to the center. So uh, that's the way you get your offense started fast. Six kills and 15 attempts in the opening set for her. Her team leads 2-0. Patty sets. Soko hits for a point. Soko come out of that stack in the middle there, so they had they didn't know which blocker or which person to go block on. Lake Catholic is coached by Kara Oster. She was coach of the year in just her second year at Lake Catholic. For sales by Liz McNeil in her first year. Service by Soko. Back set. Kill attempt was by Wagner. And then the left-handed kill, that goes to well, Natalia Bergant. I really two. like her on that outside, that opposite side, Mark. She can jump well. She is pretty tall, all, all said. And so she gets that left hand and puts it on the floor. Ball went in the crowd. The Versailles kids wanted to keep it. It's not a baseball <laughs> game. <laughs> oh. High toss. A kill attempt was by Porter. And then the ball falls in the middle of the floor on Kyra Walsh's kill. Last three points have gone the way of Lake Catholic, and they lead 3-2. Game of runs. Let's see who can keep it going here. Soko to serve again. Back to there's that left-handed hit again. But they for sales keeps it alive, and then Baumholt missed the end line, 4-2. Just a little long. Just a good job of keeping the ball alive. She had a chance. It's always nice when you keep the other team's big hitter in the back row. There's Soko to serve. Baumholt, and it's blocked. That one came back from Natalia Bergant. 5-2. I'm watching uh, the... the Toss by Katie Soko. Uh, she could not play at Temple Christian. <laughs> or any of the, the other ball gyms. Hit the ceiling. Yes, any sir. other gyms that we were in with a low uh, ceiling. She really throws it up there. That's a lot of practice, Mark. Wagner. This will be set. And hit by Derricky. Kirsten Bombo. That time she gets a kill. Boy, that was a nice shot. She didn't have much room between her and the pin, so she still got it through past the block that didn't get quite outside and the inside of the pin. That breaks a five-point run by the Lake Catholic Cougars, makes it 5-3. Derricky, and she gets a kill. Claire Derricky, a junior, has had a good start to this set. Sure is nice watching the ball come out of a setter's hands where it comes out looking like Phil Necro's knuckleball. Not an ounce of spin on it. Claire Derricky, a 5, a 10, a junior. That's Cassie Baumholt. There's the left handed hit again, played by the Libero Brim, uh, Brooke Briscoe. And that point goes to Versailles. Nice job, nice job. Tristan Baumholt took a good hard cut at that ball, got it into the block and off of it, and down on the other side. Tori Tayo will enter as Kirsten Baumholt will serve. There's the left-handed oh. kill again. They're going to Bergant this set. 
That makes me want to go back into coaching, Mark, if I could have somebody like that on my opposite side. Mia Slogard will serve in this ball. Pass. And off the blocker, a point to Haley Porter. Here's Lexi Magneto to serve. Seems like she's serving in more than one position. She seems like she's been back here right <laughs> yeah. in front of us a lot. Tipped across that time by Garicki. Tayo just hits it over. And then the kill. Missing that time was Budasrini. 7-6. Try not to make too much out of it if you don't have a good set and just make sure you can get it over and keep it in play. Magato tracks it down and then is that bomb hole. Yep, tried to make yep. something out of it and couldn't. 8 6. I'm looking back, John, at the Versailles crowd. We were doing some research for the earlier game. Crestview played in the state tournament in 1991. The crowd was 1,876 for the championship match. There, there are more people in one section from Versailles here than that today. Baumholt hits. One thing about our Division Four brethren. And Soko puts it away. 9-6 Cougars. Julia Oster to serve. A bit of an overpass that time. Here's a shot for Soko. Hits it to Magato. Bomb hole. Soko again, this time off a blocker for a point. She's warming up in this set. Yes, she is. It's always nice when you've got a big hitter in the back row there. Uh, they throw that pipe set up to them and they can hit it. Usually find only one blocker. Katie Soko, second team all Ohio this year. And we're going to get illegal contact. Makes it 11-6. I didn't even hear a whistle on that, did you? I did not. Here's a Versailles timeout. They trail 11-6 in set two. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. It's season 18 of the Sports Report. Friday night, Strunk Patrick Kamler for a full hour with the most comprehensive football coverage around. And John, it won't be long. It'll be a full hour of high school basketball coverage. Oh, I see basketball. Yeah. The NBA's already started. Yep. College basketball's playing their exhibitions. I hate to see volleyball getting uh, over, though. Here's Oster to serve. That I understand. Tip and missing on the tip attempt was Cassie Baumholt. 12-6. Cougars. Lexi Magato took a good uh, serve from uh, Lake Catholic and made a good pass at it. Go, Oster to serve again. She served four consecutive points and a oh, good scramble job to pay the ball off the tape. And Baumholt <laughs> made a good effort to get to a ball, was headed for the corner and just couldn't quite get there. She made the third contact on the Versailles side when she was on her belly, yeah. sliding off of the floor. Good hustle as you would expect in a state match. Another good serve from Oster. And then Cassie Baumholt missed in the middle, 14-6. Versailles got to start eliminating errors. Seven consecutive points and another timeout from Lewis McNeil. And this set's getting away from her at 14-6. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. They thank, say thanks to viewers supporting TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTOW.com and click Donate. Our next match today, that will be Meadowbrook and Coldwater. That will be the other Division Three semifinal matchup. The championship match then will be here at 1 o'clock on Saturday afternoon.
John, basketball guys like it when they play Thursday, Saturday. They get that day off in the middle. Same thing for volleyball, They're having that day off help? I think so. They'll, they'll go home and they'll do at least a walkthrough, make sure they've got everything understood, go over the scouting report for the next match. Here's the serve. Tayo has to go off the floor to get it. Bomb hole from back behind a 10-foot line. This will be Kirsten again. And she scores from behind the 10-foot line. That breaks a seven-point run. 14-7 as Cassie Baumholt will serve. Ava Budasrini uh, did a nice job blocking there out of the middle one-on-one -on -one against those back row attacks. Set, dumped over. Wagner hit it, but blocked again. There's that lady you were talking about just a moment ago, Budasrini playing in the middle. She reads the ball well, and she's been taught well. You can tell by her footwork on her blocking that she does a very nice job blocking the ball, reading and then blocking and jumping. Here's Ava to serve. Nice, Tayo. Nice, Wagner. Four points for Taylor Wagner. Blocked that time by Lake Catholic was just a little late. She got up and it got on the top of her fingertips and still made it across. Makes it 15-8. Here in set two. Tessa Stammen will serve this ball. Pushed over and a point for Kyra Walsh. That set was a little lower, a little faster, and so it just made it a little easier for the attacker to uh, get the ball down. And a patty will serve. Magato plays it over. Soko's block. And Wagner. Kirsten Mambo. Sixteen nine. Well, she does a good job getting her swings, but I watched Taylor uh, Wagner on that play and started off with a block and then just be keeping the ball in play for their her team. It's that left-handed hit that we've seen from Bergant. This time from the other side of the floor, tip. There she comes. Yeah, that's her spot right there. It was played by Stammen. Here's a set by the libero, and then bomb hold again. Soko's block. And she winds up again, and this time she gets a point. Yes, sir, Ida. The tech ball keeps moving around. She got a one-on-one -on -one block attack, and she put it down on the floor. Katie gets to serve, six foot junior, second team All Ohio player. Yeah, the overpass that time ended up in Claire DeRicky's wheelhouse and she put it away. I think that overpass was caused by that great serve here by Katie Swoko. She is again. For sales has used both of their timeouts. Set. And that kill, we can chalk it up to Haley Porter. Hey, they did a nice job. She got a little bit in front of the ball, but reached behind her and still had a lot of top spin on it to get it down. Brooke Frisco will serve. And Brooke gets an ace. 18-11. These girls keep playing the way they are. They're going to have to extend this floor. <laughs> now you can play all the way to the wood, correct, John? You cannot go into the concrete at the end. Cannot go into the concrete. That's a change of surface that's too big. Now the overpass. We'll come back to that in just a second. There's that left-handed oh. hit. Here's the set. 
And Baumholt, another set. That shot was by Derricky. Here's Porter. Both teams are blocking very well. And Kirsten Baumholt. Line judge says she missed the, the end line. You, you can contact the ball while you're on the wood and run off onto the concrete, but you cannot contact the ball once you reach the wood or as reach long, the concrete. Yeah. As long as one body part is in playable position, you can play the ball legally. 19-11 and now 19-12. Now and they said those officials don't know how to count past three. <laughs> here's, here's Kirsten Bobholt to serve. Nice serve. To Ricky. That's all to Ricky could have done with that ball. And that poor kill goes to Porter. Haley puts that one away. It's 1913. Those for sales have another run left in them. Here's Kirsten Baumholt. Good serve. And Tayo blocked it, but blocked it out of bounds. A little late on the block there, just didn't get her hands positioned correctly and pushed it out of bounds. Hit that time by Porter. And that kill will end up being, being credited to Ava Budasrini. And it's 21-13. Haley Porter's got some hops on her, Mark. She does. Sales. Yeah. Left-handed serve. Tayo will hit this ball, but hits it into the antenna. It's 22-13. Both line judges right on that call. Lake Catholic Cougars trying to even this up at one set apiece. Nice to your set. Back set. Good hit that time by Cassie Baumholt. And then Watch this hit us. Hey, come on, your main job is to protect me. All right, so the OHSAA social media lady just missed the ball. However, she set us up in our broadcast booth, so we're going to give her a pass. <laughs> She gets an assist for keeping it out of my face. 22-14. <laughs> Magato to serve. Set. This will be Tayo if she can keep it inside the antenna, and she does. Nice job. To Ricky. Good job by Cassie Bommel to run that one down. Tayo again, and off the tape. Turning out to be a long point. Kirsten Baumholt from behind the attack line. Here we go, Tigers! And Derricky. Nice. And that kill will, no, she didn't get it to the floor. Good job, but Lake Catherine keeping the ball alive. I was just, just to chalk that up as a point. Nice Tayo just tips it to an open spot. Here's Derricky again, it's blocked. And Four contact. Four contact. Yeah. 22-15. Good point that time by both sides. I think the coach was questioning and wanting the captain to go over and say something to the R1. That's block. Coco free balls it. Back set. Cassie Baumholt. And then Derricky gets a point. 23-15. Mark, both these teams have a lot of girls that can hit well off of one foot. And by that, I mean they're running away from the set and jump off of one foot and hit it down. Comes number seven in, Sarah Stallman. She'll be free balled over by Brooke Briscoe. And Soko, 
24-15, Lake Catholic trying to close out set two. They've turned it around from set one, Mark. They look like they're playing with more confidence now. Here's Julia Oster. And Soko missed the end line, 24-16. The sale stays alive and Taylor Wagner re-enters. Here's Cassie Baumholt. And Soko hits it through a blocker, and they keep it alive. Here we go, base up. Soko again. And that ball is blocked by Soko at the net, and set two will go the way of the Lake Catholic Cougars. And we will go to set three, tied to one. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Each team has won a set. We're back at the Nutter Center where our scoreboard is sponsored by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They're hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. John Dornick, stat numbers that jump off that page at you. Uh, what jumped off the page is now Lake Catholic turned that around and uh, they uh, got more air, got more service kill or kills than Versailles at 22 to 20. Um, Versailles had more errors than at 16 to 14. Um, assists were relatively the same, 19 and 21. Um, service errors, Versailles had more. So you can see with the errors and a little bit more kills why Lake Catholic won that set. That they did. If you're just looking at total numbers in uh, the, the sets today, Lake Catholic has gotten eight kills from Katie Soko. They've gotten five from Claire Duricki. 11 kills for Kirsten Baumholt and five for Haley Porter. This will be Versailles to serve. We're tied at one set apiece. The opening service and a good serve that time by Bryn Briscoe. That's blocked. And then dumped over. And here's the set. Kirsten Baumholt puts it right to the libero. Emma Briganti. Back set. Porter hit that one. Soko hits it to the libero. And Kirsten Baumholt, and... Yep, I thought it fell on the side of Versailles. And we'll have a little discussion with our uh, captain, Bryn Briscoe, and our R1, and that would be Jim Hammer. I think what he's saying is the ball never made it over the net. Still went out of bounds. It was hit into the tape, rebounded out of bounds, which was an out call. So I thought that was the call from our vantage point, and certainly he's got a better view than we do. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Porter. Good job keeping alive, and they free ball over. Can't quite get it there. We're tied at one. Mark, I've noticed today watching that Kirsten, uh, uh, let me, Kirsten Baumhold and Haley Porter both have very quick arm swings. So they get the ball, they get their arm behind them, and bring it through. Brooke Briscoe serves this ball. This is Derricky with a point. With to one in favor of Lake Catholic as their libero and the Briganti serves. Lake Catholic has got a number of girls that can put the ball down on the floor. Here we go, Tigers! Briganti's serve goes out. We're tied at two. With Kirsten Baumholt turned to serve. Kirsten, good serve. There's that left-handed kill by Briganti. Brigant, 3-2. That's so sweet. I mean, I love watching that. It's just like butter. She's really good on that side, isn't she? Yes. 
It helps when you have a large yeah. opposite that can block and hit the ball too. Porter. Wow. Haley Porter. That quick jump, quick arm swing, even from a girl that's not quite as tall, can still get the ball down on the floor quickly. We've had six serves, we've had six side outs. We're tied at three. Derecki missed. That was our first point off of serve here in set three. Tried to cut it a little too much on that swing. Big bomb hole from behind the 10 foot line. Good play that time by Brooke Briscoe. Here's Tayo. Derricky hit the ball that time to Magato. Soko hits it to Magato also. Tayo off a block. Good play that time. Baumholt got to that one, and we're going to prolong contact. Yes, we, we are. do. Ball rested in her hand too long, trying to shove it over there. Tied at four. Julie Oster to serve. And that will be an ace. Good effort that time by Brooke Briscoe, and also by... Kirsten Baumholt, but neither one of them could get to it enough to keep it in play. 5-4. It's, it's amazing, Mark, how coaches teach the players how to slide once they make a play like that so it's easier on them. Set. Cassie Baumholt. Maga to us. Soko. 6-4. Oster to serve again. Oh! Good play in the front row by Bryn Briscoe. Tayo's blocked, and then she can't keep it alive. 7 4. That ball comes back at you just as fast as you put it over there, and sometimes you can't get your arms controlled to make that pass. Good effort, though. Here's Oster again. Seven five. John the rule book says the coach has to be between the end line and the attack line, but where the benches are set here, you kind of got to let that slide a little bit, don't you? You know, there's gray areas in every rule book that sometimes you just got to not enforce. Oh, out. It is out on the kill attempt by Budasrini. Yeah, their players don't even start sitting until they're past the end line. You couldn't be able to communicate with your team if you strictly enforce the rule. 8-6. You know, the rule book says the benches have to start past the, the three-meter line or the attack line. Yeah. These benches start almost at the end line. Right. Looking for a ball to serve now is Ava Budasrini. Might have been long, but Magato played it just to be safe. And then free balls it over. Soko's block. Tayo keeps it alive. And then on the kill attempt by Bryn Briscoe, she missed the sideline. It's 9 6. Mark, sometimes it's almost as fun watching these line judges work. They're all very good. And you were telling me, John, not just in high school, but they also have another gig. Yeah, they're in the Big Ten. You know, just one of those little net, little, little Division One networks that uh, they get out and they get to do a little, little job. How about that, you've got Big Ten line judges officiating the Division Three semifinal in the state of Ohio. That's pretty cool. That is. Tessa Stammen. Good tip, good point. Bryn Briscoe put the ball where nobody could play it. It's 9-8. 
Sometimes you don't have to hit it hard, you just have to hit it where they're not. And so Stammen again. Senior. And it is 10-8. And a patty to serve. That kill will be topped up with Taylor Wagner, the sophomore. And nine. Taylor's listed as a middle hitter, but I take off that first contact. She's going to stay outside, hit on the outside, and did a very nice job. 118 kills before today for her. Ty, uh, Soko hit it. Briscoe hit that one, saved by the libero. Good play. Porter hit that one. And there's the left-handed hit. Back set. Forget played let left hand again, rolled over by, and we got what? Cougar in the net. I was gonna say somebody had to be in the yep. net. And we're tied at 10. We played 20 points and we're dead even in set three. It's the hit by Brigant. First and Baumholt, and she scores. The sales leads for the first time since it was 4-3. I think we might be here for a while. I think we might be, and I think Lake Catholic realized that it too, so Coach Oster takes a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center for sales 11-10 lead. John, pretty important person in Ohio volleyball is going to retire this year. I see Diane Place has announced her retirement. She's been the director of development for officiating in here for as long as I can remember. So uh, I'd like to thank Diane for her service and uh, wish her well in everything that uh, she does after volleyball. That we do. Diane Place. Versailles has scored the last three points to take an 11-10 lead. Float serve, good one. And that was blocked. Taylor Wagner got that one. So, you know, that's the uh, unfortunate part of having the left-hander on the other side. There, You got to get that set further out, and it was inside a little bit. And with the left-hander, she couldn't quite get as much on it. Briscoe, that's a good serve. Soko hits that one through the block for a point and a four-point run. It's 11-12. I like that Soko was sitting out of the right side that time. And whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, got a ball rolling loose. Yeah. Yep. A high toss serve. Good save. But they couldn't secure the point. It goes to Lake Catholic. That was a very nice. Bryn Briscoe got up there. It was almost the ball had broken the plane of the net, and she still brought it back a little bit. Kind of an ice cream cone shot, or an ice cream cone set anyway, but it still was very nice. Katie Soko's serve. Back set. Wagner gets a point. Taylor Wagner's coming on here in this set a bit. Better again, hitting that off one foot, that slide going behind the setter. That sure is a pretty play to watch. Here's Brooke Briscoe to serve. 315 digs is the libero this year for the junior. And got a good serve in. Cassie Baumholt played that ball. And it's blocked. The kill attempt by Bergant goes through the block by for Kristen, Kristen Baumholt, they are tied at 13. Let's go, Emma Briganti. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that was a sweet set. That kill will go to Ava Budasrini. And now it's 14-13 Cougars. I think Brim Briscoe surprised her uh, hitter that time. I th didn't think she could get quite that good a set. Here's Briganti to serve. Set. Quarter shots blocked at the net by Brigant. 15-13. Five of the last six points have gone the way of the Lake Catholic Cougars. And unable to make the initial pass. 16-13. Timeout for sales. I think we're getting into the technical part of the match right here. And uh, for sales coach, uh, Liz McClellan decided to call out, tie him out, and talk about it. And at that time, they just didn't get the pass up. And you know the, the setter, Briscoe, went after him, just couldn't get to it in time. We needed a better pass to her. Yeah, sometimes we just got to hide our emotions and yell for help. And, and give credit <laughs> to the fact it was a good serve. Yeah. yeah. So we need to do that. Looking for the perfect gift for out-of-town sports fans? WSN can now be streamed anywhere in the world, online, on Roku, Apple TV, for a donation of 100 annual dollars, 100 annual, annual dollar donation. Give the gift of hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up on appwsn.tv or by downloading our Roku and Apple TV apps. John, I always get myself one Christmas present every year, so I know I get at least one thing I want. <laughs> this, this might be it this year. It could be. All right, six out of five out of six out of the last seven points have gone the way of Lake Catholic, hence the three-point lead, and each team has used a timeout in set three. Set, Kirsten Baumholt will get a kill attempt. Good play by the libero, however. Briganti. There's a good set. And blocked. Haley Porter sends it back where it came from. 16-14, proves to be a good timeout. First to Baumholt to serve. Tori Teo in for, te er, for Tessa Stamen. Stamen, sorry. Back set and trying to go down the line that time with Brigant. 16-15. Good serve. Serve kind of ate her up back there, but she still got kept it in play. Back set to Porter. Porter gets another hit. Another back set. This one will go to Brigant. And then Versailles has to free ball it over. And that kill will go to Ava Budasrini. That pass came from the back row low and hard to the setter. She set it low to the outside fast. Play developed quickly. Be a slow guard to serve. Tayo hits. And then just dumped over that time the setter did that, correct, Patty? Yes. She nice had Go ahead, John. Nice to have some to set her in the front row that knows what to do with the ball there. Hannah Patty's the, one of the best. She has 83 kills before today's match. Here's Tayo again. To Ricky. Porter. 19-15, Lake Catholic. Timeout for sales. It's 19-15. Lake Catholic in set three. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Check out our WSN website, WSN.TV, for scores, standings for scores, more sports teams anywhere else in the state. 
Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, and social media posts. More at WOSN.TV. Here's Lake Catholic serve. They're up four, but not now. Haley Porter is very quick off her feet, so she got to that ball quick, and I think she beat the blockers up. That she is. Haley Porter is a senior, 600, 161 kills on the season. And it's out, right down the line and just out. Twenty sixteen Lake Catholic trying to win set two, set three, and go up two sets to one. Oster serves and she gets an ace. Twenty one sixteen. Julia Oster had forty one aces in the first twenty seven matches by the Lake Catholic Cougars. It's nice to have those servers come in that can get you a point. Pass. Tayo tips. And then Soko missed the sideline. 21-17. This will bring Mia Eversole into the game, and Mia will now serve. As a junior, she has 20 aces on the season. Set. Ball's tipped over that time by Briscoe. And in block. Taylor Wagner again at the net. And that kill will be chalked up to Katie Soko. 22-17. This is our libero exchange as Brooke Briscoe enters. Ava Budasrini serves. And Ava gets an ace. 18 of those before today's action. Catholic needs a pair of points to take a two set to one lead. Set. Wagner hits. Soko hits and she gets a point. Maybe miss hit that John still counts. <laughs> yes, she took a little bit off of it and just rolled it over the top of the front row. Here's Lake Catholic, a point away from what do we got here? Ball out here already? <laughs> Our line judge thought there was one more point on the board than there is. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> Here's Budasrini serve. She gets an ace. That will end set number three. It will go to the Lake Catholic Cougars 25-17. We'll head to set four in just a moment. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Back to the Netter Center, where our scoreboard is provided by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Sets are 2-1 in favor of Lake Catholic. John, how about our stat numbers? Mark, stats don't lie to us here. So Lake Catholic had 32 uh, kills compared to 28 for Versailles. Um, airs were 23 for Versailles, 21. So there again, you got a swing of points there. Um, service aces, Versailles had four. There was 10 aces on uh, for uh, Lake Catholic. But uh, uh, the major thing is the reception errors on serve is 10 for Versailles, four for Lake Catholic. And they have a two sets to one lead. Kenny Soko has a 12 kills today, 13 for Kirsten Baumholt as Lake Catholic serves first in set four. And right away, Kirsten Baumholt scores coming out of the break between sets. That's the way to start off the yep. set. Her sales was six and three in the MAC this year. Set. And there's Soko with a kill, so. Each team's leading kill on the season person comes up with a point. Here's Soko to serve. 
so far she's hit all the way across the front row, left side, center, and right side, so she gets a swing everywhere. That's why she's leading him in kills. Soko plays that in the back row, and there's the kill attempt by Brigant. And then Baumholt, that came off her arm funny. Yeah. 2-1. Stay behind the ball where you can keep your shoulders square to the net. She had a more square to the bench. Soko will serve again. High toss that she favors. Wagner. And Wagner's able to keep it alive after a couple good defensive plays in the back row. And then Doricki scores. 3-1. They could only get that single block there. Taylor couldn't quite uh, get all of it herself. So uh, Taylor Wagner made a good effort there on that ball. Three points, two of them on the service by Soko. Nice, Tess. Set. Kirsten Baumholt knocks the ball up into the crowd off a blocker on the back row. That quick arm swing sure helps out. She gets to the ball and gets it off her hand quick. Here's Brooke Briscoe. And her serve was long. It'll be 4-2, Lake Catholic. The winners here at 1 o'clock on Saturday to play the winner of Coldwater and Meadowbrook. That was a great pass. And Porter will get a score if she hit it off of Budasrini's block for three. The Sales had state championships in 2018 when they defeated Independence in 2017 when they beat Coldwater in an all-MAC final. Also won back in 2013. Oh, kill out of the middle by Budasrini. 5-3. Hate to go backwards, Mark, but you talk about Versailles in their state championships. It's funny when you don't even win your own conference and you, and you come back and win the state championship. <laughs> yeah, how about that? That's what kind of conference you're in. <laughs> Lake Catholic was here a year ago, but they were in Division Two at that time. They lost in the semifinals to Gilmore Academy. There's a kill. And Gilmore Academy went on to win the state championship last year in Division Two of a Roger Bacon. Baumold has 15 kills. Lexi Magato in the serve. She's got a lot of serve aces today. The team trails by a point. Oh, they kept it alive. Good play by Magato on the pancake. But not this time as Ricky put it away. Good shot from Claire. Staying with it. I tell you what, Lake Catholic has a lot of weapons when they get to yeah. that front row. They do, don't they? Man, oh man. Sokar. The Ricky. Budasrini. They got some numbers. Tipped over. Good play by the libero Patty, or uh, the setter Patty. Not two contacts. John, you're allowed to do that in the first contact or the net, right? First contact, as ugly as it looks. Still legal. There's Julie Oster to serve. And what do we got? Contact lens on the floor? I think a little moisture. I don't know whether it might be a contact. Yeah, yeah I think Magato lost the contact lens. <laughs> a lot of people stomping around over yeah. there for having a contact down. Uh-oh. Oh. Looking on the bottom of somebody's shoe. Coach McNeil, I think we did we find it or not. You know, I know a lot of basketball coaches back in the day. That was a called play. This game's getting away from you. You don't want to call timeout. I know a certain coach who coached at Bath back a long time ago. He actually had a player lose a contact lens who doesn't wear contact lenses. So, and we're still looking around for it. You know our, our good friend uh, Paul Offenbacher? 
I do. Paul and I were doing a tournament, uh, actually a tournament, and I took a ball in the face as R1, lost a contact lens, went on the floor, I went down to pick it up, and one of the girls from Salina came over and stepped on it. So Paul and I switched spots. He became the uh, R1 for the rest of the day, and I one-eyed it as R2. There you go. They all say we can't see anyway. Yeah, that's so. right. It didn't matter, does it? Well, we're spending some time looking for this one. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here, and donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com, and we are ready to play volleyball again. Some portions of the media are back there. They think they can see it from... Must be a glare on the floor. Yeah. Here's the serve with a 7-4 lead. Set. Cassie Baumholt. Tip. And there's Soto. Mr. Soko missed the sideline at 7-5. That sure is a nice shot if she can ever start getting it in. Wow. Here's Mia Eversole in the serve. Soko hit that one's block. And tempting to set it with a miss hit. It'll be 8-5 for Versa for Lake Catholic. Did she ever find your contact mark? I, she I was writing on my page. I don't think yeah, she did. I didn't see her put anything back in. Budasrini serves. Set. Wagner tipped that one. Soko just hit it over. And then a kill will go to number seven off a block. Number seven, I got to look at my score page here. That's Sarah Stammen. And in to serve will be Tessa Stammen. That kill will be out of the middle by Kira Walsh. And it will be 9-6, Lake Catholic, with the, their setter, and a Patty to serve. Let's go, Tigers! And a, just a junior and a first-team All-Ohio player this year. Kirsten Baumholt. Back set. Good job trying to keep it alive. They were unable to do so, and Soko got an easy one to net. 10-6. Here's Patty to serve again. Taylor Wagner hits it across. Soko's going to get a shot, and that one was touched and will be a point for Lake Catholic. It's 11-6. A lot of times, Mark, that shot's not meant to uh, be in bonds. It's a lot of times off of high hands off of the blockers there. Patty to serve. Patty got to that one. Here's Soko, and she hits it to me. Well, almost to me. 12-6. It's amazing looking back at the stats off of the last set here. In three sets total, Hannah Patty's got 48 sets, or 48, 48 assists. 48 assists. Yes. Has she, uh, has, how many errors does she have? What's that, what's our stat page say about errors for her? I'm looking at my stat page here, trying to find it. Was, it. Uh, one error, not by Hannah Patty there. And yeah. so she's had in the 48. Wow. Yeah. I don't see any fact, errors. That's not an error at all on their stat page, handling the volleyball. That's a pretty impressive. Says something for their skills in that particular area. Versailles is the one that took that time out as they trail 12-6 here in set four. And back to serve once again is the setter, Hannah Patty. Coach McClellan can't let this game get any far out of hand here, yeah. being down two sets to one. It's a good timeout for her. Good serve, and could she keep it in? Nope, good effort, not able to. 
That was just too tough an angle yeah. to get that back across the net. You could tell she was measuring it, trying to figure out a way to get it across. It just wasn't an angle there that would work. Last five points have gone the way of the Lake Catholic Cougars. Nice, yes. That kill will go to Von Holt. Kirsten put that one away. It's 13-7. Does Versailles have a run left in them as Haley Porter enters? Nice how these, these big hitters can always find the open place in the court. Throwing the ball to you again, Mark. Yeah, she was. This is Britt Briscoe's turn to serve. She just floats it over. Set. This will be free balled over by Brooke Briscoe. And then oh. Soko, look out. You give them that easy a pass yeah. and that easy a ball to play, you know, that ball's usually going to end up in a point for your team. You get a good pass and a good set by Patty, and then you put the ball in the possession of Katie Soko. That's what's going to happen every time. This is Katie to serve. And Kirsten Baum puts that one back. Doing the best she can in her senior season to keep her team alive here in the state tournament. It's tough, Mark, when you don't get the set right up to the net, how it limits your offense. But if you've got a good hitter like Kristen Baumholt, you know, it makes it work. That was a little bit of a miss hit, but a point for Claire DeRicke. Taking those miss hits every time. Kind of came off with right. We had a good angle at that one. Came off the side of her arm, funny, but uh, obviously scored a point. Here's the libero, Emma Braganti, to serve. And Kirsten Bombo got that kill out of the middle. Mark, it's nice from our angle here. We can see that thumbs down shot she uh -huh. used where she rolls her hands down and keeps that thumb down to keep it over towards the right side of her court. And now she will rotate to the back row and serve. Will Kirsten Baumholt? She has 35 aces this year. You know, just thinking, John, if you're player of the year in the MAC, you're probably pretty good. <laughs> you think? I wish I'd have a lot of them to choose from. Oh, my goodness. You could take the, the second and team and the third team and the honorable mention team and win a lot of leagues. Yes, so you can. Very, very good league this year once again. Well, six and three in the league, and you're still in the state in semifinals. Your, that's correct. That ball's hit over at a tough angle that time by Stallman. And Baumholt from behind the 10 foot line this time. And Derricky shot is blocked by Porter and will go to Lake Catholic. Good block up there, blocked high, high off the hands and into the into the pin for a point for Lake Catholic. Slow guard to serve again. Good serve from her. And Haley Porter starts back. 16-10. Good things happen when you stay behind the ball and you can see it in front of you. There's Lexi Magato. She will serve. There's an ace for Lexi. 16-11. That float serve. One of the five seniors for close, Coach Liz McNeilan. Here's your serve again. To Ricky's hits played by the libero, and then what do we got? I get to keep the ball. Do I, do I keep it? It's out of bounds. Or was someone in the net? I believe was the call. I looked up to see our R1 signaling numbers. I assume that was the call as I was trying to yes, sir. save our equipment from that ball to come over here. I was hoping you would save me, but <laughs> I'm a little short on one hand there. <laughs> ah. We'll chalk that up as an ace. It's 18-11. And we're going to get a Versailles timeout here. They trail by seven in set four, and they're down a couple of sets as, as it is. What questions do you have about life, about God, about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. 
Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30, Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m., and you can find it online at WTLW.com. And we are still looking for that missing contact lens as Versailles <laughs> has taken their second timeout. The crowd who's, uh, you know, 80 feet away think they can direct <laughs> somebody to try to find it. That's not happening. I can't even find my shoelaces well. at the bottom of my leg let alone a contact here uh, 50 feet away, so I'm no help for him. There's Julia Oster with a seven-point lead and a two-set-to-one lead. All the photographers are looking. And bomb hold. Cassie missed oh. the back line, and it will be 19-11. That was a good effort there. That's yeah. Nobody's in that way back row, and she just missed it. Really good idea. Just couldn't quite get it to the spot she wanted it to go to. And that will be an ace. It is 20 to 11, and Lake Catholic is stretching this one out. Sir. Stalman hit that ball. This will be Soko. I took something off of that one, but not that one. Mega to hit that from behind the 10-foot line. Cassie Baumholt. Katie Soko to the middle of the floor for a point. She got it in front of Kirsten Baumholt. It is 21-11. 10-point lead, Lake Catholic Cougars. First Tails Tigers still playing hard here, even though we're down 10. Tipped over by the, the setter, and there's a similar play. And that point will end up going to Cassie Baumholt. Breaks a five-point run. I think that might have been the first time all night that I've seen uh, Hannah Patty try to uh, just dump the ball. Her hands have been so good, she's been setting the ball like butter to everybody. Mia yeah, Eversole will serve. And served out 22 12. 23 12 is the score. Point goes to Versailles. 23-13. Tigers are still fighting. Here's Tessa Stammen to serve. Good serve from Tessa. Lady Soko hit it, and will they save it? Couldn't quite save it. It got to the net, didn't it? Hit the net just outside. Yeah. 24-13 in favor of Lake Catholic. A point away from going to the state finals on Saturday. And here is their setter and first team all Ohio player, Hannah Patty, to serve this one out if they can. Set. Kirsten Baumholt. Got it down. 24-14. Keep plugging away one at a time. I've seen worse things happen. Keep fighting. Brynn Briscoe. She gets an ace. 24 15. Sixty-four aces to lead Versailles Tigers in their 28 matches prior to today. Set. Kirsten Baumholt through a block. Kirsten again. She rolls it across the tape. Nice play. Back set Porter. It's touched on the back line. 24 16. Then Briscoe to serve again. Versailles not going quiet. 
And that kill attempt by Brigant is long. 24-17, four consecutive points for the Tigers. Try to let the girls figure it out for themselves from Lake Catholic, but sooner or later you call a timeout. Another good serve. And Soko out of the middle. It's down, and Lake Catholic will take set four at 25-17. The scores went this way today for the Versailles Tigers. They won the opening set 25-23, and then Lake Catholic came alive at 25-16, 25-17, and 25-17. Lake Catholic, John, they will be 27-2, and they are moving into the state finals on Saturday. That's a good effort by that club. I think uh, Versailles came out and played with a lot of emotion the first set. And then Lake Catholic finally came back and he started, uh, Hannah Patty just started distributing the ball all over the court and uh, they just put the ball away. And I think the better team won right there, but uh, good effort by the Versailles Tigers. Well, Lake Catholic came in here having lost his 10 sets all year and not a set at all in the tournament. And uh, the Versailles was able to take the opening set. And I know some tears and disappointments. Those ladies from Versailles were 22 and seven. They will graduate five seniors. They were six and three in the MAC Conference. Good year for Coach McNeilan and her team. We're going to wrap this up here uh, from the Nutter Center. I want to thank our crew today. That's Lexi Waddell and Megan Sherrick. Nick Fralick will edit this back at the station. Lexi and Megan are going to head into the locker room and see if they can get some interview action for this. We want to thank our scoreboard sponsor today, Charles River. We want to thank you for watching. Lake Catholic moves on with a four-set victory. They will be here Saturday at 1 o'clock to play the winner of our next match. That is Coldwater and Meadowbrook. You've been watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. <laughs>